Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton covering hole number eight of the Euro Trip Tournament Nine Hole Cup. I hope you're crushing it. You know, there's that saying, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And I am finishing this tournament super strong. I hope you are too. Here is yet another drop. Now we're going to go with the Zerg. There's a couple ways that you can play this one, okay? You're going to see people get in trouble trying to go over the water and do like a big curl shot to the right-hand side. That's a good shot. Um, you can do it, especially a little bit easier with some money balls that might have, um, you know, some more extra side spin. But you're going to be hard-pressed to to get that ball to land on the fairway and not in the rough. So it's definitely doable. I mean, it's not hard, but I think you do risk the chance of landing in the rough. Here, um, I didn't land in the rough at all with a perfect shot or even a minor great right. Now, I did land in the rough with a great left, but that's kind of how the game works. You know, you're supposed to hit perfect, uh, so you can't really you know, judge that one when you do that. But I'm going to go full top, two bars of side spin to the left here, okay? With the extra mile eight, you're going to see that when I push my club up to max, I'm looking for a, a particular landing position, which we're going to stop and see right here, okay? So for me, I want my white ring right there on the right edge of the rocks. That's what I'm looking for. So you can see right here, white ring, edge of the rocks, on the left-hand side, okay? I'm talking about the left-hand side of the white ring. You can see my ball guy line is on the uh, fairway. And then from here, I'm going to adjust 0% at max. I am not going to push up. I am going to go a full overpower. About half a ball or curl or so to the left. Now, you can see there I barely clipped the rough. That was a lot of OP. Um, if you have higher wind, okay, you're going to have to gauge that when and not would go with much OP, as much OP, I should say. So if I were you, if you really need this drop, like if this is going to be the one that's going to put you in contention to win or a top 10, you're going to need to practice this hole uh, because I did not get hit with any wind on any of my accounts over 3.4. So um, I don't know what to tell you. If you get hit with four or five mile per hour wind, as far as how much overpower to use. All I can do is give you a reference point for what I was hit with. Um, but it's going to happen to somebody. You're going to get the highest win possible. You're just going to get unlucky. So again, if you need this hole to drop, I would definitely practice a couple times and hope that you get the higher wind so you know how much overpower to ease off on hole number eight. Please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. I'll see you for the final hole.